Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny and this is Texas Style Cuisine. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we're gonna to be making some venison tacos. And what we're gonna to use to make these venison tacos with is nothing less than the neck of a little buck that I harvested last season. Whenever, whenever you get a deer neck, um, you know, what do you do with it? Nine out of 10 times, it's gonna be chili meat or ground meat. Well, last year, had two nice sized bucks and uh, we had a lot, of, a lot of sausage. We had a lot of, lot of, uh, of uh, hamburger meat and things like that. So I just, uh, I just decided not to, not to grind up the necks and show some people how to barbecue these. And they work great this way also. Y'all be staying tuned here in the very near future. I am going to uh, cook one in a Dutch oven, uh, sort of like a roast. I tell you what, if you like grass fed, if you like organic, here you go. This is uh, this movement of eating more healthy and eating uh, animals that haven't been fed all kinds of hormones and everything. Hunters figured that out a long time ago how to do that. Just gonna pat this dry a little bit. If you wanted to, I didn't do it with this one. I uh, took it out and I just let it thaw in the refrigerator. But uh, you could take this and put it into a, uh, a solution of uh, ice water with a little apple cider vinegar. Soak it overnight. Sometimes some citrus juices work great on that. I'll do that also. And it'll pull some of the blood out of that neck. So it, it maybe take out some of the wild taste that sometimes you think uh, venison has or wild game has. But that's a, that's a way to do that. Didn't do it with this. We all love deer meat. Now we're going to get started on this, on this venison neck. And I'll tell you what, this is really a very good uh, tasting piece of meat. It, uh, it cooks down nice. Usually these wind up being ground meat or they wind up being sausage, something like that. Because of all the bones, it's really hard to get all the meat off of it. So if you take it and you cook in the barbecue pit, uh, like I'm going to show you that meat will start coming off the bone or if you cook in a Dutch oven The other way I'm going to be showing you here in a couple of weeks You can really just kind of pull those bones out of it and get the use of every bit of this nice tasty meat That's on this neck and it it works wonderfully, but nice little neck here We're gonna get this seasoned up and we'll see if we can get it on the barrel house smoker first thing I'm gonna season this with is my uh, Coffee rub that I have y'all have seen me use this coffee rub a lot um, I will uh, put a link to the description down in there. The coffee I use on this is from some really nice guys from Ranch Hand Blend Coffees. You can get that at uh, BeTheBuffalo.com or the Bison Union. Uh, they have those there. Bert is a super nice guy and uh, he's a retired uh, veteran. And so I like to, you know, help out veterans whenever I can. But also a dollar off the sale of each one of these bags of coffee go to the uh, Cowboy Crisis Fund with the uh, Working Ranch Cowboy Foundation. So that's another good cause that we support. We're going to be going up to Amarillo, oh, in about a month. That's where I met these guys last year, uh, Bert and Buster. Buster will be competing there at the rodeo. He's got a team, and their, their ranch is up that he works on. It's up around, uh, actually, Dallas-Fort Worth. But they're going to be up there. But I'm going to put this on. I'm gonna let this sit a little bit, and then I'm gonna put a coating of my regular barbecue rub on top of that. So let's let this sit, let me get the fire going, and we'll come back, put the final coating on here, and we'll, uh, we'll get it onto the cooker. You can see in this, in this uh, neck, we've got a lot of moisture that has come up into our, our rub. That's gonna help our uh, uh, bark on this. Now I'm just gonna put a light coating of my plain barbecue rub and I will, uh, I'll put this recipe down there for you also. Not a lot, just a little bit to kind of get that layering, that flavor again, right? So my coffee rub and then just my standard barbecue rub. Gonna get the hooks in it. We're gonna get it in the barrel house cooker. Let me kind of show you how I get the hooks in it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna daisy chain this. This is a little bit heavier. So what I'm going to do is I want to make sure I have enough room to hang. So there that's going to hang. So I'm going to take another one. I'm going to hook it onto that one. Come in here. I just be careful to miss the bone. 
and now I can hang this just fine in that pit. So uh, let me get the pit over here, show you how we get it on it, and then we'll, uh, we'll look at getting this thing cooked. Barrel House cooker's good and hot, sitting at about 275, 280 degrees. I'm gonna take my H brace, it's gonna go right in the top. Then I'm gonna take my neck, and I have some nice mesquite wood in there, a little bit of oak, that's gonna help us smoke this along with our things for charcoal. One thing I forgot, my meter. I know I like to use this meter all the time. It's my wireless thermometer. So I'm gonna take it, push it down deep into this meat, leave the top part out, and then we'll register my meat temperature and my pit temperature. So let's let it cook. See y'all about three hours. It's about time to check these. And uh, we're three hours into it. Just check my meter. It's about 164 degrees. So pop this lid. Oh, that, that is looking pretty. Let's lift it up out of there. That is pretty. It is moist. That is beautiful. Just the way I wanted it to look. Put the lid back on my barrel house cooker. This is looking lovely. What I'm going to do is, still hot, take my knife, pop my, my hanging hooks out of here, set them off to the side. Hey, maybe you can see this moisture is coming out of here. It is very, very moist. But I want it to get more tender. So what we're going to do now is wrap it. Let me take my meter out. Have that. And I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit more of my barbecue seasoning on it. So an extra little bit of coating. Tastes good. Tell you that. So that's ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is, I have some au jus made up here. I've mixed some au jus with some uh, beef broth excuse me, with some Worcestershire sauce. Just a little bit of cooking oil. Give it some thickness. But We're going to add that. And y'all can see these onions. Uh, you've seen me do this on my deer shoulder. I just drop some onions on it. They help add moisture into that bowl. I'll just use in there. Onions are in there. Now I'm going to pour some Shiner Bock on it. This beer is going to give it a rich, it's a dark beer. It's going to give it a real richness and flavor. It's going to keep this uh, from drying out. Remember, deer meat does not have a lot of fat in it. That's why we're introducing moisture to it. I'm going right here. I was able to get that whole beer in there and we're gonna carefully fold this up where we try not to let everything out. There we go. Just be careful on this step not to, not to dump the beer out all over yourself. So basically I made a boat, brought all the sides up so that this would be nice and tight and it's going to steam in there. Put those onions and that au jus. Got a little hole in my foil right there. I don't want that to the bottom. So I'm going to come to the top. That hole's in the top. That's ready to go. Pinch everything off tight. 
take my meter again, right here in the top, insert it in, track the temperature of this, we're going to take it up close to that 200 degree mark, then we're going to pull it out. Then back off, I'm going to take out my H brace, these hooks for that, and I'm going to put back in my rack. In goes my rack. Deer next back in. That's ready to go. See you in about two hours. Our deer neck is just about up to 200 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and pull it. Go see how this looks. Okay, that's out. Let's get it unwrapped. See how it turned out. Take our meter out. And let's open up our foil and see how this turned out. Boy, it smells good, I can tell you that. all that moisture there you can see our onions we put up on top adding moisture and flavor to that oh this deer neck is tender Let's see if we can cut this up pick up all the foil move it over here Mm. Slicing down into this. This meat is beautiful. It is. So many different muscles in here. Ooh, that's hot too. Mmm. Mmm. That meat is tender. It is not dried out. All the moisture in there that we kept in there helped keep some of the moisture up in it. I tell you. I could probably sit here and eat this all day, but let's put some tacos together so you can see what they look like. Got some nice pieces to put in our tacos. I'll tell you what, can you see that deep smoke ring in there? That, that barrel house cooker just really penetrates in there and you get a beautiful, beautiful smoke ring. You can do this in a crock pot, much the same way. Uh, when I show y'all how to do it in a Dutch oven, that's gonna be pretty much the crock pot way. So be staying tuned and looking for it. Be a couple of weeks that we're going to try to get that one done. But I have a couple of tortillas here. What I'm going to do is just get me some nice pieces of this deer meat. Put those in there. A couple of slices of this avocado. There you go. Two big slices. Then I have some Colorful peak of the guy on top of that. There's a beautiful taco. Got a taco rack here, so let's let's sit it in there. Make another one. And there you have it. Two beautiful tacos. Let's give one a taste, see how they turned out. Mmm. Excellent, excellent taco. I don't know if you can tell, but I tell you what, it was just a, a straight bite through. Uh, very, very tender. No toughness, no tug at all. Great flavor, that coffee rub. Remember uh, the uh, uh, Ranch Ham Blend coffee from uh, Bison. 
Bison Union. Uh, you can go to be the buffalo.com, you go to bisonunion.com and find their coffee, goes to a good cause. And remember, he is a veteran, so we like to support those. Uh, Bird is Buster, he's a cowboy, so support them both by going through the WRCA, the uh, foundation for the working ranch cowboys. But again, excellent taco. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Take another bite. These venison tacos came out fantastic. I tell you, they are, are very, very tender, very, very flavorful. By uh, using that coffee blend that we did and then coming back with our regular barbecue rub on both those, they were a nice combination on top of this deer meat. And then, you know, just coupled it with that creamy avocado and the fantastic pico de guy with a little heat on the back end. Fresh tortillas, hard to beat a taco like that. I really do appreciate you stopping by. Tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media, and we're going to see you down the road on the Texas-style barbecue and cuisine. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.